the cycle of bloodshed has returned. In Gaza, we've seen the most intense Israeli airstrikes for at least seven years. The assault on densely packed neighborhoods has left scores dead, displaced tens of thousands, and destroyed dozens of homes. Hamas is a hardline Islamist Palestinian militant group that rules inside the enclave. It has fired thousands of rockets into Israel, killing civilians and wrecking damage across the country. The crisis has deep roots. In 1948, more than 700,000 Palestinians were expelled or fled a war surrounding Israel's creation. Those refugees and their descendants have never been allowed to return to Israel and reclaim their homes. Years later, in 1967, the occupation began when Israel captured the whole of Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza. Ever since, millions of Palestinians have lived under military control. This year, during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, police prevented Palestinians from gathering in East Jerusalem. Nightly protests erupted, which reached their peak when Israeli police stormed a compound that houses the Al-Aqsa Mosque. 200 people have been wounded in clashes between Palestinians and Israeli police. Very violent series of confrontations here. The mosque is the third holiest site in Islam. Officers in riot gear fired stun grenades at Palestinians who lobbed back rocks and shoes. That really set off a dramatic escalation. Another factor has been the threatened evictions of Palestinians from a majority Arab neighborhood in Jerusalem called Sheikh Jarrah. Jewish settlers claim they owned the land before Israel was created, and an Israeli court has ruled in their favor. You are stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No! The law doesn't allow Palestinians to reclaim homes lost in other parts of the city. Palestinians see the case as an example of what they say is decades of ethnic cleansing. Israel denies those allegations and claims the case is a private dispute. Another factor was the annual parade as part of Jerusalem Day, an Israeli celebration of their capture of the holy city in 1967. Israel claims the city was reunified. But for Palestinians, that day is seen as a provocation. Israeli nationalists have previously marched through Muslim neighborhoods and screamed racist chants. Amid boiling tensions, the march was rerouted at the last minute, but events had already spiraled out of control. Watching on from Gaza, Hamas began firing rockets later that day. It triggered an overwhelming response from Israel's military. There's been a catastrophic loss of life. In the first week alone, more than 200 Palestinians, including 59 children, were killed. I'm only 10. I can't even deal with anything in this war. I just want to be a doctor or anything to help my people, but I can't. I'm just a kid. During the same period, 10 people in Israel, including two children, were killed. Israel has a high-tech defense system called the Iron Dome that has intercepted most of the rockets, saving lives by preventing them from hitting towns and cities. But civilians in Gaza, who have already suffered years of neglect, have no protection. They have largely been unable to leave due to a blockade enforced by Israel and Egypt, who cite security concerns. There is a humanitarian crisis unfolding. There is a severe shortage of supplies and medical help. In one significant escalation, the offices of the Associated Press and Al Jazeera were flattened. Israel gave journalists an hour's warning before the strike. A press freedom group said the bombing should be investigated as a possible war crime. Israel claims all its attacks target Palestinian militants, including those who hide among the civilian population. International efforts to end the bloodshed have failed. Meanwhile, Israel has experienced a surge in ethnic violence within its borders. Decades of anti-Arab discrimination has boiled to the surface. Far-right Jewish mobs have beaten Arabs 
sometimes in full view of the police. Palestinian youths have burned Jewish-owned shops. Gunfights have erupted. Even if the airstrikes and the rockets stop, the Israeli-Palestinian crisis has entered a new stage. 